So the three pillars that inspire trust. We talked earlier that trust is something that uh, I can't force you to have in me, but what I can do as a leader is focus on my trustworthiness and then hope that my trustworthiness inspires your, your trust in me. And I think as Stephen Covey said, um, that's the difference between trust being in our sphere of concern, whereas trustworthiness is in our sphere of influence as leaders. It's something we can do something about. And what's valuable in the uh, research on trust and trustworthiness is that there are three very clear pillars that if I focus on those as a leader, I will create the conditions in which I can maximise people's trust in me. And those three pillars are uh, ability, integrity and benevolence. So if we take each of those in turn and just explore what they mean and how they relate to trust. Uh, let's imagine uh, in the terms of the pillar of ability, let's imagine that I'm a, a heart surgeon and I'm performing an operation on you as a, as, as a patient. The first thing you want to know about me is am I competent at my job because your life is in my hands. So you want to know what qualifications I've got, what uh, professional uh, development I've done uh, and you need to uh, be very assured of my ability. And it's the same with a, a leader, a business leader. So if I'm the chief financial officer of an organisation, you want to know that I've got my accountancy qualifications, that my professional development is up to date and I've ticked all the boxes that I need to, to do that job. So that's the pillar of ability. The pillar of integrity, if we think again about that uh, heart surgeon uh, example, uh, you need to know that I can do the job competently, um, but you also want me to make sure that I give you an honest diagnosis uh, and similarly that I will invoice you uh, correctly and honestly for the work that has been done. So the pillar of integrity as a relationship develops, uh, not only do you want to know that I'm competent, you want to know that I'm honest and open and that's the same with, uh, with business. Uh, we need as business leaders to be totally honest and open with our communication and of course recent examples like Volkswagen demonstrate that when we're not, you know, that can have a very negative impact on our uh, perception and therefore our performance. Finally, the pillar of benevolence. Benevolence is an interesting word. Probably we all know what ability means and integrity means. Benevolence, what, what's benevolence all about? Well, benevolence quite literally is uh, wishing well for others. And in a context of trust, it means going above and beyond the profit motive in order to uh, show care and concern for our stakeholders. So often uh, benevolence is about the very uh, small things that make a difference, the personal touch, the human touch, that demonstrates to you that you're ju not just a client to me, or a supplier, or a shareholder, but you're actually a human being. Uh, and if I treat you with the uh, respect and sort of uh, uh, appropriate sort of manner as a human being, that's going to help you trust me alongside my ability and my integrity. One of the CEOs that I interviewed for the Trusted Executive, I think summed it up quite nicely in terms of benevolence when he said, the most powerful destroyer of trust is when you feel the other person is acting in their own best interest and not in yours. Yeah, how do they come together? Some people think that it's uh, an addition, you know, ability plus integrity plus benevolence adds up to your trustworthiness as a leader. But actually what the research demonstrates is that it's not adding, it's a multi multiplication of the three pillars. So trustworthiness equals ability times integrity times benevolence. And that's a very important difference because it means that if as a CEO I'm very capable, very able, and I'm honest as the day is long, but I'm negligent and cruel to my stakeholders, they're not going to trust me. So you need as a leader to focus on all three pillars and if you can maximise your efforts in all three areas the multiplication will, will work in your favour and you will actually amplify your impact as a trustworthy leader.